The Ryanair chief executive Michael O'Leary called a press conference today to outline his plan to boost tourism in this country. Even by his standards, it turned into quite a performance. Michael O'Leary had so many in his sights today. Few escaped, and he was using even more colourful language than usual. First up, tourism minister Martin Collin. Instead of fluttering around the country in his chopper or breaking our the national chopper fleet, if he's really serious about doing something for tourism, do two things. Scrap the travel tax, you could raise the money elsewhere and force the DA to reduce charges by 30% and Ryanair will deliver you 4 million passengers annually on top of that. Then it was the turn of the Green Party. John Gormley knows nothing about transport. I mean, he doesn't know much about anything. But you know, you never go to a Green Party if you're looking for advice on transport. They haven't a clue. And industry regulators, especially those covering aviation. We shouldn't wait for them to retire with golden handshakes. We should simply them out. He also targeted the Dublin airport Metrolink. Politicians love big projects. They can be seen out there with their hard hat digging the hole or cutting the ribbon. And after <laughs> that, we just subsidise it forever. Speaking as a resident of Mullingar, why in the name of Christ am I subsidising people of swords? They can drive to the centre of Dublin or get the buses like everybody else in this country should do. The social partners. Lock the gates of government to buildings every time the, the social partners show up for a meeting. Lock the out of government buildings. I mean, they represent nobody. David Beggs represents less than 10% of the workforce and Turlock O'Sullivan represents less than 5% of Ireland's employers. So it was another outing for the Michael O'Leary charm. The problem for him is that those he's criticising have now become accustomed to his outbursts. Brian Daly, TV3 News.